بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. Salvation for many of our friends who are Christians is through can only come through Jesus. This is their belief. However, I'm posing a question and putting forth a challenge to you that to look deeper within your heart, bear your soul to your Lord, the one who created you. Because I think we all can agree that God is the creator of the heavens and earth. However, we differ in how we get to God. Christians believe that Jesus, may peace and blessing be upon him, was uh, the means to get to God, meaning that to worship him, that he was a inter that he is an intercessor, and that he is by accepting him as God or the Son of God or a part of God is the way to paradise. However, we have to reflect deeply on this concept. And where did this concept come from? Was this concept pre present throughout biblical history? Was this concept present in the time of the scriptures before Jesus? May peace and blessing be upon him. Was this what Moses came with in the Torah? Was this what David came with in the Psalms? And if we begin to reflect, we'll come to the conclusion that this is not the case. That this was something new, a newly invented way by Paul. And those scriptures... Their authentic, authenticity is called into question. So then that leaves for us, for those people who are embarking on a spiritual journey, to continue to embark, opening their heart, looking, trying to find the truth. What is the truth? Who created us? Where, what is my purpose? And I challenge you, as you'll find this only in Islam, these answers. These answers you will only find in Islam. Because Islam is the only religion, the only way of life, in which an individual is giving all his or herself to the one who is the only one worthy of worship, the one who created the heavens and earth. The one who, since he created us, that he is the only one who has the right to be worshipped and who all, whom all praises do. The one who sent and created all the prophets and messengers, may peace and blessing be upon all of them, as an example for their particular people. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was the last prophet and messenger sent to mankind to give us guidance, to take us from darkness into light. He was an Arab. His language was Arabic. But yet he was sent for all of humanity, for the people on the continent of Africa, for the people in China, for the people throughout the Arab Peninsula, for the people in North America, for the people in Europe. The Prophet Muhammad is a mercy for all of mankind, not to be worshipped, not to be misunderstood, but to follow his example in worshiping God, the one who created the heavens and earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one, the only one worthy of worship, the only one who possesses those divine characteristics, the creator of the angels who submit in totality to him, and the one to whom which we will return. This is what is important for us all. The one who has given us a goal from his divine wisdom. Allah says throughout the, says in the Quran, He says in a very important verse, that I have not created man and jinn, meaning the spirit, uh, except for the purpose of worshiping me. That gives us a purpose. The Muslim is a purpose is a person who has purpose in life. That their purpose is always to actualize 
and strive to be a better worshiper of the Creator of the heavens and earth and to give Him His due right. And to, 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 when, to pass on out of this life in that same state of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that he or she will be raised up in the next life in paradise. This is the belief and the goal of the Muslim. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and get into paradise. To be with their family and their loved ones in paradise. To be with the, the righteous and pious people in paradise. To be with the prophets and messengers in paradise. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and to grant us salvation and grant us guidance and to guide at least one person from this video. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لَيَنْ يَحْدِي اللَّهُ بِكَ رَجْلٌ وَاحِدٍ خَيْرًا لَكَ مِنْ عَمْرَ النَّارِ If even one person is guided to you, or is guided by your hand, it is better, than you, it's better for you than the red camels. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with paradise, and to bless others to find guidance and strength and purpose in life. وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَ